and um, so I think we'll come, we'll we'll list those. And in fact, I'm going to ask Tricia; she'll make a list of them. Yeah, because everything that anyone said, ask Jeff. Yeah, I wrote Jeff's name by. So yeah, I'm going to highlight those okay. in orange. Mm -hmm. Would you mind circulating it? Just yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll just. Type up. That's all I want you to do is type up. Type up what section and if there was a specific question that we said. Yeah, and then everybody can look yeah. at it and add to it or delete it. Yeah. Or whatever. And if you want to compare yours with mine and see mm -hmm. that we got those, we can do that um, to the side. All right. I'll just type it up, <coughs> send it to everybody, and then whoever made notes on it can look in theirs and okay. it can be a living right. thing until it's dead. Well, and our, our next meeting is December 4th, and so we have two weeks here, one a holiday week and then the other week afterwards, and a couple days then. Well, if somebody will go run errands for me tomorrow, <laughs> go grocery shopping, you know? Grocery uh, uh, shopping? Grocery shopping? If shopping. Burgers, go all right, shopping. give me a list. I, I mean, I've got a long list. list. <laughs> um, you can find an extra day somewhere. <laughs> You but, have uh, to be more specific with <coughs> my, my wife where she just says down. bread. Just make a the list is in my purse right now. I'll hand it to you. Right. <laughs> well, let's, let's agree that we'll have that list in hand. I will, this uh, will not, I will have this taken care of in the next couple of day or two. Yeah, with, within a week, before Thanksgiving. Oh, absolutely. Um, I was hoping I could stay up and you'd send it to email sometime tonight. You know, there's so, a, uh, you'll be waiting I, for it. I have a self-diagnosis, <laughs> and part of it is I don't like things on my to-do list, and it's a problem for me, but it helps everybody else. Okay, okay that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for you. That is, it's good. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sort of like that, too, but, you know, that to-do list is critical. Um, the other thing is we have, we have said that we will have a public hearing. And I just want to check with you all to see when the timing for that is right. Um, we have gone through it once. We have had one read through. Um, if we go ahead and work on some of these things that we know are or have been recommended to us that we pay attention to, um, in some ways I'd like us to do that and then have a public hearing before we go into phase three of finalizing everything in part because I want to keep us focused and um, we may have taken care of a lot of concerns before we'd even have a public hearing. Um, and I don't even know if anybody cares, you know, too much, you know, I, you know, as far as it being that much of a interest level. But that is kind of where I am and if, if you're at a different place, let's talk about it. If you think we should have a public hearing right, right now before we go back and work on any of these? The only advantage to doing it sooner rather than later is fiscal, I think. Um, we can put all this together and send Jeff all of our questions and everything, but if a citizen brought something up, <coughs> if we could just compile that into the whole thing, you know what I mean, instead of dragging him mm -hmm. back into, I don't know, just get all of the questions, whether they're ours or citizens, in one big chunk mm -hmm. to him, versus doing all this work and then having something come up and going back to him. I'm just thinking time-wise and fiscally not wanting well, to have to keep going back to him because we have a meeting and then something else comes yeah, up sooner. You know, like what you're saying is we've got our questions to Jeff. Public may have a question that yep. needs to go to Jeff, which and would argue for December 4th being a public meeting. It may, they may which just bring up something that we haven't, you know, uh, didn't pop up to us, you know, somebody else. Mm -hmm. well, well, let's take well, the time to read it if they truly have yeah. a question. And December 4th wouldn't be good because that's a council meeting too, mm -hmm. right? Although, when we have the public hearing, it would probably be a good idea to have Jeff yeah. up here. Wanna, let, well, let's just, to, conversely, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't mean to interrupt, but um, to the extent he's here for the council meeting, we can have our questions, whatever comes up in that public hearing, we can probably 
and give it to him before he leaves? Well, or have a public hearing before council meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. and here's here's one one concern I have, and it isn't a showstopper. I mean, I could go either way, and so on, and that's the reason I'm bringing it up. Um, I want to make sure that we're on firm footing, that we're really clear within ourselves as we work. And I think if we work our way through it one more time, we'll, we'll be there, is to understand the difference between what the charter should cover and what is administrative detail that is strictly council and administration and that we shouldn't put in here. And maybe this is the time to talk about. Um, we received a, uh, a written um, email and Kathy Lives passed it to me and then circulated these. And, um, and I had a chance to talk it through with Jeff. And it was educational. I mean, it was educational for me. And um, and so read those through, and then we'll talk about that. Doug, I'm comfortable talking about this while you're here, okay. or if you feel like you'd like to leave while we talk about it, either way. No, guys, go ahead. Okay. It's a, it's a public meeting. Well, it is a public meeting, and yeah. uh, no, I'm, I'm giving him the opportunity. I think that's, that's uh, are you related to yeah, this? Yeah, I'm the one who okay. submitted this. Uh, I didn't yeah. know. That's interrupt. Yeah. chance to read through um, I talked uh, through this with, with Jeff, and what was interesting was that um, we both agreed that these are all good questions. They're, they're you know, very good questions. However, um, they're almost all policy not governed by the Charter. And so, um, for example, um, we are dealing with this complete reading once of all ordinances and resolutions. We are dealing with that. And that, that, that's in front of the public. I'm, I'm reading that to be a recommendation of how we conduct the public oh. meeting with, with more in attendance. Than, right. Well, than yeah, what we're, what we're doing is I'm using this as kind of an example of, you know, yeah. helping us fine tune ourselves. Um, but that will be taken care of if we redefine ordinances and resolutions. And what is it, 206? 2.06 yeah. is what I marked. It is. And that will be, so we That's are. Not, is that what this is referring to? 2.06? Well, it's. I'm, I'm thinking that's referring to how the council operates business, not. Not 2.06. Not, not what's. Not what's, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm reading that to be, let's be clear on what needs a first reading and a second reading, because the next bullet is reduce the need for the emergency clause. Right. 
that's all kind of set in 2.06, but, but the practice is what's being addressed there. And that is what we've talked about. I mean, that, that that's is, what I had written on yeah. here, so I, don't, I might just not understand the difference between the comments and what we commented on the charter. Right. Well, the, the complete reading once of all ordinances and resolutions for the public as I think of council meetings, sometimes, because everyone else knows what's being read, they bypass the reading. Is this remark saying, read it out loud? Yes, out loud. At least it once, that's all I'm meeting. saying, because so it's, it's usually, usually a requirement in 2.06. That it's read at least once sometime. Right. That's all I'm saying. And in here, you know, they talk about the, the first reading is by title only, you know. And that's kind of their their custom always right now. Mm -hmm. And then the second reading is in full. But if they have an emergency, they don't read it a second time. So the public, I don't mean to interrupt, sorry. They always yeah. read it in full at some point before voting, always. Okay. The only time they don't, if there's like a 20 page attachment. And, and I can so understand a synopsis of they'll, it. They'll read it in full but they, and they'll talk about it, but they will not read that big attachment. But it is usually been made available to the public. Is that document, even though they're not reading it out loud during a council meeting, available for the public to get and yes. read on their own if yes. they want? Yes. So, yes. If, you know, if the council doesn't read it and you really want to know what the document says, mm -hmm. it's available for you to get it and read it just like any member of council. I don't know that you can walk into a council meeting no, no get but ahead of time, ahead yeah, of time. The See, if, if it, well, if, so if it, the are they putting them online now? They are putting the them online well. now. And um, for a while, the clerk had copies, I thought, out I don't know for the audience to read. So, so the casual person that just bops into the council meeting because ahead of no, time, if they no wanna. sports are on, no, just coming yeah. in at yeah. seven yeah. o'clock. How how do they get the resolution? They're out of luck. If they heard, if they didn't hear the first reading by title only, they won't know to be interested in it in the first place, probably. So the second reading, they read it, and they haven't had a chance to see it. It would, be, it would yeah, probably yeah. be moot because if you came, if I went to a council meeting and they were going to vote on something, and I just came in, if I didn't know it ahead of time, I've missed the opportunity to do the public comments. And give my input because it's already on the agenda to be voted on, right? Well, and you wouldn't know that was happening. I wouldn't know it was happening, so I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. And if you just came in and heard them reading something like this out of nowhere, you wouldn't It'd know be too late what they're going to say about it anyway, you mm -hmm. know, just to... Well, that's what I'm saying is that it would actually be too late. Yeah. Because you've already yeah. missed... Does the clerk put out a hard copy? Now. Ordinances now? Not always. They are on the web, like you said. So, mm -hmm. like you really myself and us, we did read them ahead of time. I'm thinking for the general public that's watching on TV or something, the people who just watch maybe on TV or only have that medium, and they maybe they watch regularly, they don't always hear what the ordinance is. They hear it by title. That, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, if it was read at least once, and not in full, maybe a synopsis more so, mm -hmm. is all I'm getting at. Because well, there's been a lot of time, and I've attended every meeting, yeah. there's a lot of times I've not understood unless I read it ahead of time. Well, true. Yeah. And, and what I think people fail to realize is that um, when you're on council, there's a lot of ongoing business mm -hmm. that right. carries over from discussions at the retreat six months before or other meetings or other problems that we've had on a street with a parking or whatever and so there's references to things that we know just because we've been dealing with it mm -hmm. and it isn't um, I mean it, there is no attempt it's just an accum it's like when you work in a, in a company you have an accumulation of knowledge about yeah. your own business and I, I'm, I'm not trying to say they're hiding it at all yeah. I, I just for myself for general knowledge when I watch the meetings mm -hmm. it's sometimes even I'm lost because they're the there's mm -hmm. one that I don't know what it's about, mm -hmm. and, and I do pay quite good attention, or I pay a lot of attention yeah. to it. Well, I've, I've had the problem where I've gone to the website, you know, like when I asked a few week, few meetings ago, when actually is the meeting, because I mm -hmm. forgot my note. I went to the website, there's no mention of Charter Review Commission meetings. 
I don't look at it because I'm not interested. I mean, I well, well, my my (laughs) point is, it was in October, yeah, and the website was showing the September schedule. Oh, it had not moved up to the October schedule. So part part of what I'm thinking about is there's a lag on keeping the website current. It's not a mandatory site. Is why it's not mandatory to be posted on there. So. I'm not saying they need to or have to. It's just it's not a mandatory location, so sometimes things don't get put on there. That, it's that not that they're trying to hide them. It's just we find out who's doing, who does this yeah. work. I think uh, Yvonne and her assistant. Okay, yeah. And maybe it's our I fault think. for not passing that on to them. So I may not have in given there. the information I, I in I a prompt amount of time for the person yeah. who's sitting at the computer to have gotten it on there. I mean, it's. Human error. Mistakes happen. Probably. Well, it, it's, uh, part of the problem is having a very small, small staff here. Yeah, right. And uh, money. from what I've witnessed, it seems they're very inundated with some other work. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, Lots of I'm like, I don't even know how they would on. even. I don't know how they even would get to me. Well, that that is true. I mean, it's, <laughs> what we're dealing with is a reality, and. Um, Let's go through this because it comes up in a couple other places there. Um, the CIC is not governed by the um, uh, charter. The charter. And the CIC, and there's another thing in here. Um, we, we agree with getting out of the rental business and everybody on council and, and Yvonne, I'm sure all of, everybody wants to get out of the rental business. But that, that's not a charter issue. No, right. the, if, if we put anything like that in the charter, it would handcuff. It would handcuff. Because okay, I couldn't find where, I would read the whole thing and I couldn't find where that was in here. The rental it's business. Not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, I'm just okay. thinking we could have it. Okay. Yeah, and so. Like, did I not? No. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the CIC is a wonderful tool if and when we need it. And so we have done some great things with it. And yet, um, you know, it's it's just a tool. And it's, it's not being used for anything other than the concerts on the commons right now. But it's still distinct from the charter. Yes, it is. Right, right. It's, well, it's, it's something the state law establishes yeah. and that allows totally council so. to create or not create. Yeah. So it's up to the city and council. Once, they have once that created, problem. it's not an expense of the village no. right. unless the council contracts with the agency. Just yeah. like they can contract with, or this village can contract with any other consultant. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I, I know the CICs are fairly common. They are, and, it's, um, and I, I don't yeah. see it as part of part of the charter. It isn't at all. I'm, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with uh, their only purpose is instead of saying avoid public scrutiny, I might say to be more efficient than right. um, government process allows. Yeah, that's their only purpose. Right? Yeah. Um, and then the next point. Um, put everything on the web. There is grant money for technology. Um, one of the realities is our limitation of funds for staff and for upkeep, and that's what they're wrestling with a lot. And uh, we have made progress in the fact that we have a website that's, uh, you know, we're, we aren't having to run by Waycross uh, totally anymore. And yet, um, it well, would be I, wonderful to have a part And I think time. probably what he's talking about, too, is the old records that people are coming in, the mm-hmm. old records that you have to keep. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be nice to have right. online so you didn't have to keep everything. Well, there are, other, there are other cities nearby that have just about everything on the web. You can research it yourself, and it just eliminates the need for the public records. But most the cost of to do that. That's why uh, I'm saying there's grant the money for, even even for the position, there's grant money. Well, Not just the technology. Uh, with, within 2.06, we talked about getting public notices mm-hmm. and things. Moving um, forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm... 
in support of the recommendation. I'm thinking mm -hmm. separate from charter right. review. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, and that's, 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 that's an that's administrative exactly. task. Mm -hmm. This is the yeah, okay. charter review. Uh, yeah. you know, okay. and to, to the extent uh, there's money available, we should mm -hmm. be spending it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We, we shouldn't mm -hmm. be kidding it. Right. Now I know Yvonne has hired somebody different. We used to use Waycross TV mm -hmm. to, they designed our web page and uh, put all the stuff on for it for us when we sent it over to them. Uh, and Yvonne has hired another company mm -hmm. that has put together the new web page. Um, and I don't know how, how much they're doing, how far that's evolved. Uh, but that's been going on for the last year, nine months, something like that. Uh, so I think, uh, I think she's working towards that more, but I can't say for sure. Well, I think that, that she has it up and running and it's the maintenance of it and uh, trying to keep time. it all together. Um, and truthfully, there is an awful lot of drainage of these public records requests. They are crippling. And if we as the if citizens... It was on the web, though, yeah. Whoever is requesting well, it. Well, to get there, to get you out can't in front get of to it. The, you can't get in front of it. Yeah, there's, you know, boxes. They literally boxes. can't get in front of it to get, if all of that other stuff would stop and the there, manpower could be utilized to get these things Every single onto piece the of paper internet. on the web, you can't do that. You well, they, it, there's a lot they could do, but. IRS codes. <laughs> Our employees are, could, seem to be could, devoted to one or two people. Yeah. Could, could I suggest a bigger. Um, within the charter, we're talking about notice. This is much broader in administrative. Maybe if it could be pinned down further, Doug. On Oh yeah, if you what want exactly. Yeah, what I'm asking. I'm put, sorry. Put this everything is, on the web is. Right. How do you know you're ever finished? Right. You never are. That's it. Um, I can put examples. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know that you need. It has to be a limitation put on what. Well, is, well everything what's would be imply available. personnel records, and then yeah, we can't do that. It, it um, to be mad. Jeff's recommendation is um, that to keep in mind, it's much easier to once you get a website going is to if you're limited staff move do it moving forward mm -hmm. but to try to get capture the, the previous 50 ye years is really difficult right to, oh, if, yeah. if you don't if you don't have staff or money to do that so there is a cost to it I guess moving forward what and I'm so at anyway. his recommendation was that while all of these and I think everyone here we'd all agree that these are good good questions and good thoughts and would help, and that you would be much better off using your energy speaking to council, you know, and, and considering how to approach council in a positive way mm -hmm. with helpful suggestions. That was his words. You know, he said, actually, he said the, the best thing probably would be to take these same issues and they're healthy, they're, they're worthwhile, but to uh, focus them in the proper place, which would be for console. Okay. Well, why wouldn't it be the manager? Well, it could be the manager too, but the console directs the manager. Mm -hmm. The console manages the manager. Okay. And so, um, you know, if you haven't, you know, you might think about that and whether you can get further by just kind of talking to you, but to his emphasis was on. Um, Focusing on it being helpful, constructive, as this tone is, yeah. you know, and and work in that way to be influential. And um, so, but <coughs> what it helped me do again is to again test out that what's right for the charter and what's right for the administrative code and so on. Sure. And um, and so I thought this was help is helpful for us to do and like a helpful exercise. Particularly if there's it. grant money available. I mean Yvonne I think has a particular expertise mm -hmm. in writing grants right. and soliciting grant money and if there's grant money there I think right. it would be helpful for her to have that information. Yes. Because I think she'll unturn sure, every she rock whatever. for us that she can. Well she will consider and I I just know that one of the priorities is keeping us financially strong 
and if uh, I mean I know that it was months getting the money and the streets and the parking lot redone and all of that it doesn't happen quickly hmm. and she got a lot of extra money for us to do that or we wouldn't have gotten all of it done and so um, I think she's if, done if a great she, job well and if she looks at her list of things she's got to get done or has her stacks on her desk you mm -hmm. know if it's something to do with the shopping center or if it's something to do with anything you know that's that critical then the website goes clear down the bottom probably I mean sure you know why. you've got to realize that when you think about it we've got what five people running the building now I mean it's the manager the the finance director the managers to assistant and the chief of police and they serve and as a director. Does the finance director work full time now? Or? I don't know. I was thinking about that She's the other day. She's full time. So that's six people. The staff is six talk. people. A lot to get done. And mm -hmm. and so it's um, you know you got you got to think in terms of you know I mean even on console you sit there and you think geez we got to be doing this together. Well the reality is you can do what you can do <laughs> with what you got. And um, you see tax dollars going down, and you see state money coming, taking off, and you see federal money taking off, and you start getting sick at your stomach. You know, it's just, it's a challenge. So, uh, but anyway, is that helpful, Doug? Yes, it is. I, it I, gave I, me some I direction mean, on where I really should focus yeah, more. Yeah, I, I felt You're good right, it's not, Most of this is not you guys. I was just looking, like mm -hmm. Jeff said, we're not bound or limited in this we don't not bound by state things some of these things in my mind like um, reading of ordinances we're not limited to say okay you don't have to we can actually add something like that to our charter if it's even if it's not in any other charter in the world mm -hmm. we can add things right that's where I was coming from right um, so I was working outside that box a bit mm -hmm. okay and you but you're right most of this stuff could probably go to Yvonne or to council in a mm -hmm. positive manner and I could work at that right around, which is right. fine um, some of the things um, Really, all of these could go that way more so than to you guys. Yeah. Well, and that's and what he was talking about. You know, the administration. Yeah. Most of this is administrative you, stuff. Yeah, you want. We don't want to do anything that denies them the power to do something Limited. in the future that they need to do. Mm -hmm. And so, even if they would, you might say to them, you know what? Have you guys ever set a goal for getting all of the rental properties sold by December? 31st 2013 mm -hmm. you know uh, you know have you ever set a goal to work towards that and uh, you know and that would be much better than us putting in the charter the the village of Green Hills may not own any rental property I would go the other yeah. way because we have in there the village is required to provide fire and safety I mean it kind of says what they are required to do right. but it doesn't limit them either you know, I mean, there should be like, we're required to do this, this, and this. I don't know. I, I was thinking well, that maybe yeah. you could limit, you know, well, maybe we've, we've it, it's apartments now or rental. It might be commercial or something later. And, and that would be a zoning. But, yeah, I don't but know. we don't want to well, one thing, though, that. Yeah. Okay. And the, the I thing, understand. even in setting a date to be out of the rental business, no. you can't really do that. While I was here before, I always argued there's a cost benefit relationship. Mm -hmm. You don't want to dump your property if you can continue to make money make on the right, property. Right. You don't want to give the property away. Um, and the objective <coughs> is not to stay in the rental, right. the, the apartment rental business. Now, right. where in other rental businesses, we rent uh, space for a cell tower. We've had garage rentals and excess mm -hmm. garage storage space for a long time. Uh, we rent Malloy's. Uh, Mm -hmm. We rent the gazebo, the market stand, and that so helps we are us doing survive, actually. other certain rentals that yeah. generate income. So you may not I mean, want to no. rent homes, but there are other avenues right, that. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. I beneficial. think we're getting. I really appreciate Twelve or fourteen thousand dollars a year, renting to the cell tower people. So we've done that uh, for 10, 15 well, years. 15, I can't remember. Fifteen, eighteen. We've raked in a lot. When we bought the service garage. Uh, which was the old Durham manufacturing, we divided it off because parking stores were popular. So the rent income that we made on those garages paid, covered the cost of what we paid for the building. You know. 
15 year time period. Mm -hmm. so, That's good business. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will add one other thing here on partisan and nonpartisan elections. I'm not that, even sure what that is. That was about. discussed yes. when, mm -hmm. when this charter was put together originally. And the general consensus was that they didn't want to change from how, because they thought it would impact how this charter got passed, mm -hmm. if we made, the Charter Commission made too many changes on how the village was operating in 1988 to go to something new. So they felt that, the, that there was enough, uh, enough people in the village that wanted to stay with Republican, Democrat versus nonpartisan and partisan. Because mm -hmm. there are charters out there where people do run as nonpartisan. That was a pretty strong. Right, but right. The big yeah, disadvantage to that is if you go partisan, you have to declare running like real early in the year before the election, whereas nonpartisan, you've got a longer wait period. Yeah. Where, wait where period. is that in the charter? It is. It is. It is. Yeah. So it's, it's just, just that's it why we chose not to do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So okay. it, is this bullet think about it. saying we should? Or? No, I just want, I, I don't know which is best for us. And if partisan's best, that's fine. I just want maybe to think about what it really meant. You know, it, it, it does have a meaning and, and it has ramifications either way. It's not on the ballot. Well, and it may be fine. Actually, a person can still run as a nonpartisan, yeah. but would be an independent on the ballot. Mm -hmm. But that's often the control of some elections commission or... Yeah, but we choose to be partisan, is what it in our in the charter is all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've I, chosen. I was asking where where that. Is. I'll find it. It's in here. Okay. On, on our track record, we've got at least another twenty minutes. So. <laughs> partisan ballot. 2.01. Yeah, right at the beginning. Yep. <laughs> okay. So in Forest Park, uh, as an example, they run a nonpartisan, and I think Springdale's partisan. I can't remember who's the breakdown. Was. But the decision was they didn't want to muddy the waters at that time. Well, and that, that's come up yeah. over this national election. You know, people getting really fed up with the divisiveness between the parties and so on, and so people are starting to talk that again. Um, Could so we ask uh, that of Jeff Forbes? Sure. Sure. So partisan just means you have to declare your party? Yeah, yeah. A, a party affiliation. A party affiliation, where nonpartisan you don't have to declare that, I guess. Okay. Right. It, it, it just has ramifications like, of timing and things, too, for people. So if, if I think I'm a Republican, but I'm not paying dues to the Republican Party, I could not declare myself as a Republican? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. no. All you have to do is vote on yeah. that ticket. And no, I'm, if, if I'm a candidate for yeah. Trump's candidate. Yeah. You can declare what you are. You, you, have, have, to to, you have to declare what you are if you're going to run, yeah, is what it boils down to on here. Yeah, you oh, okay. You have yeah. to declare Republican you, or Democrat. Or independent. Or independent. Or independent. Okay. Or independent. And it also determines when you run, or when you start, or declare it. When you file. file. When you when file. file. You're right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to. The election. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think if it's partisan, you have to do it early in the year, and then you have you run as an independent. You have until like May or something. Period. Yeah. A longer period. So if I think I'm Republican, but I miss the deadline, I say I'm you an independent. Yeah, you just say you're an independent. Yeah. And just in my flyer. Uh, mm -hmm. You could so say, only, I'm, I'm, a I'm a slow Republican, and <laughs> <laughs> slow and, the, and the reason they do that is because if you have multiple Democrats filing, then there's a primary in May, and so if you've got three Democrats filing for one office, then you have to have a primary. To weed them out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so it's that's like, why they have to So if you were running for mayor as a Republican, and so were all the rest of us, We'd have to file by that deadline, so there could be the right. primary. Right. Kind of so the people in Green Hills could pick which one of us they want to represent them on the ticket. Yeah. 
versus independent, you can have the Republicans would have to because the Democrats can't right. vote on the Republican right. ballot. Right. So what if it was nonpartisan? How would that? Well, the, how well, would it be different if it was nonpartisan? Uh, that per, uh, non if, if it was, it was all nonpartisan, then you don't declare don't just everybody goes on the ballot. Uh, yeah, I think so. Not yeah. just two. Right. Okay. So. There's a big difference. Is all I, that's all I was getting at. There's a big difference. Yeah. Last, yeah. The law directory piece. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't saying which one I prefer or which one's better. I just mm -hmm. I know there's a big difference. Okay. So really, what the charter is doing is saying you have to declare. If, if you're Running. something other than independent. I would think if all of us said we were running independently, would there still be a runoff election? Mm -hmm. There would be no primary, would there? I don't know. There's not a primary for yeah. independence. Well, I, I th I'm I thinking know. the primary is only for recognized parties by the right. state of Ohio. Right. Now, if you ran as a libertarian, That's a that might be. Mm -hmm. So that's where we got the Tea Party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you could have. I'm just thinking of the ballot that we had in November last week, whenever it was. <laughs> so <laughs> forget about it. Um, <laughs> you can have more than one independent running. Oh, yeah. Because an independent means you're not affiliated with, with any party. With either party or independent. So you know, part of this gets all confused simply because the state of Ohio's election laws and defining right. Republicans and Democrats and and so, so you know when you register to vote you've got to if you want to vote in the primary right much, you have to say right. I'm a Republican or I'm a Democrat now you can right. change that every other primary right but. but you don't have to vote a solid ticket either ever. no. Okay. Um, so I guess using that as an example, where are we? Do we go? Do we um, try to have a public hearing uh, before we address phase two, or do we? I, I would suggest before phase two, just okay. because something might come up we haven't thought about. Yeah. I mean, you know, the partisan elections. Mm -hmm. I can see that as. Significant point now. Right. We really write, write not misfeasance or malfeasance or any, <laughs> any of those, yeah. but, but we blew right past it in, in looking at it. Right. Well, we all agreed it was um, we were going to go back to it. I had it marked. I didn't have the partisan part marked, but there was a note on here. I already had it highlighted to go back to. So. Well. Okay. So so my. My point is, instead of getting all the way to the end and then saying, public, we worked all, all the way through it. I, um, I agree. It, take, take it or leave it. Why, why don't we do that yeah, early? No, in the I don't want to do that. In the process. Yeah. So when we go back and look at it the next time, we'll have everything that we Any input that anybody had, we'll have, we'll have yeah. it. Have, have a shot December 4th. And now another shot in January if we're mm. marching to a February mm. one deadline. Yeah, I think well, January I we're going to be meeting every week, and we're probably going to be working on wording and last the last draft has got. Well, I, I, yeah. I think at the start, yeah. you know, whether it was an evening or a Saturday, uh, there were at least two sessions for public comment mm -hmm. where the agenda was public comment. Mm, I think it was one. Yeah, we said that we would, we would, we, well, no, I, I think that what we said, or because I, I was looking back through our minutes, that we said that we would ask for ongoing, you know, and things in writing, anybody has that they want to get to us and so on, and we'd have one public hearing at least maybe two-thirds of the way through this, or halfway through, or two-thirds of the way through, and, um, and that's been published, you know, that we, we said that we would do that, so. Maybe what we could do to satisfy making sure that anyone that's interested, which I've been now asked three times, what the heck is it that I'm doing up here? Outside of your family? Outside of my family, <laughs> yes. 
what are you doing? I have not seen a lot of excitement and enthusiasm from the public, personally. Right. Now, maybe everyone else here has. Mm -hmm. I personally have not. Maybe. And I think right. I know a lot of people, and I have <laughs> kvetched about this quite a bit, and no one seems to care. Mm -hmm. I think it's important, what we're doing, but I don't think that there is a great swelling of people that are have ever even read this. No. Right. Oh, I didn't read it until I... I never yeah, did, found out but what I was well, thinking is... It, we used to give everybody when they moved into Green Mills a copy of mm -hmm. the charter. I don't know. I, I they mean, ran out. Well, I, I moved in October of 05, and I got the old charter. Yeah. When it was right. amended, I didn't get the new charter. They aren't doing yeah. it yet. Okay. But it's not well, a, I probably it's voted not on the new charter, and I thing didn't. To, them, to the normal citizen, is not an exciting or necessary no. change. Well, we were all concerned when this went on the ballot in a special election. <clears throat> were we going to get anybody out to vote? You know, we had to do a publicity campaign to let people know. <clears throat> and this, the law, the state law in Ohio is everybody had, every registered voter, <clears throat> you know, in your community had to receive a copy of the charter. So we had to print up a whole bunch of them that every registered voter. Wow. Well, <clears throat> At least, I think it was 80 or 90 of those registered voters were dead. But because their names don't fall off the voters list for, I forget how many election cycles. Oh dear. <clears throat> so we had to mail them to dead people. Now, fortunately, some of the postal people just Pulled didn't them deliver them because they knew they were dead. They didn't but, bring them back to you. But we, you know, some went to spouses whose husband had died seven years before and you know we got phone calls from people yeah. saying what are you doing well, yeah. this is a state law we have to do it that way mm -hmm. and i'm sorry but you know. i'm just wondering just to make sure that to make sure you feel comfortable too so we're all happy i mean if we hold this public thing december 4 what avenues to alert the public I wonder if we'll obviously have it posted in all the places where we post everything. Mm -hmm. um, we couldn't have it be stated at council because it would be on that day right. prior to. But I mean, I wonder if this is something, I don't know. But you I wonder if we could still well, get this in the, the journal. Website. They have a, web works, they have a work session. Um, no, I was just, the, just to make sure that the public has fine. had the information yeah. disseminated to them. I wonder if we could get this in the journal that we're going to hold this. Anyone interested, obviously, you yeah, can submit. Yeah, because the journey, journal would have just been out two days about that, you know, about that. Yeah, it would go out, yeah, the first. Yeah. But, well, no, November well, 30th. November 30th is a Friday. Yeah, so right. it won't go till the next weekend. Well, it might. They, they published they, the last one on Friday. Yeah. Get away from the weekend. Okay, you've got a schedule. It's, but, and uh, it's marked right in last week. You guys have a meeting scheduled for that Thursday too. What if you yeah, do it on do. The, that way? They could announce it at the, the council, council, which is televised, and then have your meeting Thursday. Yeah, as long as Jeff can make that. Meeting. Yeah, that's a yeah. Yeah, it really depends, I guess, if he's. But I don't know when that journal goes well, out. Well, he's, he's, he's got to have the time to do whatever huh. research. Yeah. 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 He has have, yeah, he has so have have time to between mm -hmm. our list that he's going to receive one. next week. There's always a date for the next. I'll look when I get home. But I'm, I'm just telling you this for the future. It's, it's, yeah, it's, I just can't think off the It seems like I have on my calendar that the kids will deliver it the 7th and 8th, but they might do it early to get it out because of the Light of Green Hills is that weekend, and mm -hmm. I would think they'd want to get it out before that. Well, if, if if it went on that Friday, that would be an ideal place to publish. I agree with your assessment on a lot of apathy in, in the village on this topic. I guess I'm I'm thinking, why don't we make the specific introduction or invitation for Thursday? Um, say you know, let's allocate up to a half hour at the start and a half hour at the end and if it's just Doug we're 
not not just Doug is in the fence, but <laughs> yeah. if, if there's Our only friend one, Doug. I'll be if, here. If there's only one or two people I'm, here, uh, it's really not going to impede anything. Right? No, no, I'm just I'm talking about getting the notification yeah, yeah. to the pub, right? So that people are aware. Of mm -hmm. Yeah, like we've crossed all of our mm -hmm. T's well, and dotted our I's as far as notification the moment goes. We have the fourth, sixth, and eleventh, right. correct? So if, right. if we say sixth and eleventh, gambling that at best it's going to be five or ten minutes of public comment, mm -hmm. and we just keep on going. Mm -hmm. Um, if we do it on the 6th and do it at 6.30, public hearing 6.30 to 7 or 7.15, and then move on with our meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does 